Dad Who Draws. Hey, my name is Kurt, and this is my studio. Well, today I'm going to show you how to draw a moose. This moose is great. He has gigantic antlers, skinny little legs, and a big upper body. <laughs> You're really going to like this one. Before we do, though, would you jump down there and give the video a thumbs up? I always appreciated that. All right, let's get to drawing. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to start off with his head, and we're going to start with a slight angle, and then a straight vertical line. This will be the uh, front part of his uh, nose there, and a second vertical line, slightly lower. Connect those two and you'll get like an angled square. Straight line back for his jaw, straight line back for the other side of his head and a nice curve in the back of his head. Nice curve for the neck there. Another straight line toward the far side of his neck. And then we're going to give the bottom of his body a straight line. This will cause some real nice contrast for all the curves that are happening up on top. Get his hips in the back there with a uh, straight line as well. And you can see how this is working out here very nicely. Straight line for his eyelid. And his eye, as you can see, is slightly uh, hanging from that. Let's work on his nose here, and it's uh, two round nostrils on the end of this. And of course, if at any point you need to slow down, just pause the video. This is all the underdrawing here. And if you do pause it, Give me that, if you don't mind, hitting that, that thumbs up button to like the video. I do appreciate that. Helps to spread this out to a wider audience. Let's get these uh, beautiful antlers in. And they're kind of like giant shovels or scoops you might use to shovel snow or something. But you can get a feel for uh, almost like a fan. They're, they're quite large. And these are guides. I'm just kind of going in now and sharpening these up just a little bit. I always start off with a nice underdrawing and we keep it light and we don't worry about erasing it. Getting a couple ears in now. And then we just draw on top of it. And I, I personally think that adds a lot of life to, to the sketch as we, uh, as we sketch on top of it. Getting, being, getting this uh, eye, eye socket in here and a slight little rounded point to where his mouth would be. There is a, uh, you could see the final drawing is off to the left and a colored version. So you can, if you get ahead, you can reference what the next steps are there. Just kind of defining more of the body, adding some, uh, hairs, his tail, where that's where that's going to go. And for his legs, we're just going to first indicate just almost like a stick figure about where where I see those those legs going and I'm just kind of carefully working my way down the leg. Getting in the 
Moving on to the third leg now. These legs are up in the air like he just got done galloping forward. Adding a funny little kneecap and trying to get the lower portion here. All right, well that, that brings our underdrawing to an end and I, I think you could see what to do to darken up the lines next. You could refer to the colored version as well, add some uh, steam or, or breath coming out of his nose. And there you go, you got yourself a moose. Okay, we'll see you next time. Great job.